open this baby up, see what it can do. Yeah. Well, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Pink Pop 2024. I'm here with Hozier and he's driving. Hozier, how is this going? This is this is really, really good. Uh, you know, and I just want to say thank you because I am court ordered to never touch anything with a wheel or a pedal. <laughs> so thank you very, very much. You still have to perform tonight at the big stage. So if we get an accident, then I get fired and I really like my job. So if you could keep it a bit calm. Yeah, yeah. Um, no promises. As I said. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. So this nature is your. Nurture, you know, it's that nature nurture thing. I don't know. I see a wheel. I see a pedal, and I just want to. You know. I think this is going. Oh, this is going quite well. Okay, so this is your your first ping pop, right? Ever? Um, it's my first ping pop. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Do you need some some tips maybe from me? Because this is my second ping pop, so I'm a bit more experienced. Um, yeah. Tell me exactly what what do I need to know. I think you need to know that you have Irish blood, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So the you need you need to rub oh, a lot yeah, oh, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sun here is intense. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna cook. You know, I will be edible by the end of the day. <laughs> so crispy, you mean? Yeah, cr yeah, crispy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, and I would recommend antibacterial wipes just okay. for you know to okay. be a bit more clean at the festival. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Last time I saw you, it was um, a listening party of your last album, Unreal on Earth. Uh, it was a very uh, intimate setting with yeah. not a lot of people there that made it very, very cool to be there. Yeah. But since then, the album has, uh, yeah, I could say exploded. Could you tell me something about the journey from the listening party until now? What happened? I mean, I think, I don't know, it's, it's just steadily grew over time. You know, the album, I don't, I, you know, in some ways it, it, people just kind of came to it. I don't know. It's I, I don't know how it how it happened. People enjoyed it. I was I was fortunate. I'm lucky the people connected with it. You know, uh, and then I released some songs. I recorded so much music for the album itself that we released more music after the fact. Very glad that we did uh, because there was a, there was a solid chance that we weren't going to do that. And uh, one too sweet was on one of those one, on that EP and it became a big hit. So it's like it's just steadily. I don't know. It's just been. It's been a good. The album's been good to me. People have been so supportive, and it's been sweet. And now at Pink Pop, you're performing at the big stage later at 7:30. Oh, make sure to wave at people too. Hi guys. Hi. It's a very big stage. I think um, 70,000 people oh, are wow, gonna be really? there. Okay, cool. I think 60, 70,000 people. I know you in a very intimate setting. That that's uh, something you do very well. But how do you do it for like a bigger? Bigger audience. What's what's the difference for you? You you find your way around it. You know. You I think you. It depends on each show. Uh, for a show like this, it's a, we're doing like a tight hour. Like it's like an hour long set. So you just you do a bit less acoustic numbers. You know, and, and you bring songs that just bring the audience to you. And, and uh, just I think you have an hour to just do some high energy stuff. And that's what kind of what we do. We just have fun. You know. Yeah. Having fun is the most important part. What about after the show? Because I find you so relaxed, also right now behind the wheel. Yeah. I don't see any tension with you. You don't seem nervous for things. Right. In my daily life, I find that I have a lot of tension for things. And usually I think uh, that I can't do it before I think I can oh, yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have some advice for people that are like me, a bit insecure sometimes or feel tense about situations? Um, I don't know if I have advice. I think um, I will say, I, I'm not immune to that feeling also. I mean, there's times where before I go on stage where I have moments where I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not ready for this and I can't, I can't do it either. And uh, What do you do then before a show when you think I can't do it? What, what, what do you do? I don't know. I think you just, you just have to do it. I think there's things in life you just have to do. Yeah. And you, when you ask yourself, is there an option of me not doing this? If the answer that comes back is, well, no, it's going to happen and there's nothing you can do about that. You can approach it, you know, how you approach it is how you approach it, but there's some things in life and you could call this like what it is, this could be part something that you want to do with your life or a job that you want to take. Um, it's like you, you check in and you say, well, is there a life that I'd be happy not doing this? Is there is there a life I, you know, sometimes the answer is no. And for me, that's a gig every single day. You know? so, uh, I'm happy to hear that you also have this feeling because it doesn't seem like it, but of course you're human, you have this as well. 
What about tonight? What are your feelings for tonight? Is there nerves in your system right now? Are you already focused on the sets? Are you thinking about uh, uh, your band members? Is everyone ready? Oh, we have to turn here. Turn, yeah. And oh, let's turn. What are the feelings right now? Like we are uh, three, four hours uh, ahead of your performance. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm thinking about the set. I have a few decisions to make about the set. I'm thinking about warm up, warming up. So I'm just getting over a head cold. Ooh. Yeah. So that's kind of playing in my mind, going like, oh no, like I need extra time to warm up. But it's a uh, it's a busy day. I'm gonna run a song with with somebody. We're hoping. I, I'm not. We're hoping that. We can do like a guest, a guest uh, artist for for the set. A guest artist for the set. Yeah, but I can't tell you. I don't what? Know, I tell you Just in case it doesn't happen, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't. So you don't know for certain if there's going to be a guest artist or not for tonight. Well, I never never count your eggs until they hatch. You know, you know that is that an expression you have here? Uh, um, but we're all set. But I I want to make sure. So I'm looking forward to doing that and, and catching up with that artist and and then also. Yeah, just warming up. So I, I guess that's what's in my head right now. Should we do some warming ups? Because my voice, I'm like three days in ping pop right now. It feels a little raspy. Yeah. Could we do some vocal warm up right now? Um, uh, I don't know. Um, what do you do? I usually, you know, what I started recently is like it's a straw technique where you have a straw and a bottle of water and you oh, just like yeah, yeah, yeah. blow, like essentially blow air down it, but you sing at the same time. The bubbling. The bubbling. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. this is thing called fomenting. You can do where you. You kind of, as if you're yawning, you drop your larynx, and that can create a lot of uh, where the, if there's any tension there. Ooh. Ooh, my ears are opening right now. Yeah, kind of like that. So as if you're yawning, kind of go like, ooh, and try to see if you can feel your larynx actually dropping in your in your throat. And as you ooh. Like, you're easing tension in your in your. There you go, easing tension in your in your. Vocal lessons from Hozier. Why not? Why not? So excited for tonight. I'm also very excited about the show. Yeah. Um, I'm going to watch you, definitely. Yeah. How did you feel about this uh, card? This was like, you know what? I'm a little disappointed we weren't able to, to see what this, open this baby up, see what it can do. Yeah. Well, why not? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, can we do that? Of course. Not a single problem. I've been asked to do this.